Are you ready for your groom? High five. Good. Now onto the equipment. I'm using the nine millimeter clipper guard today, the whole dog clippers, the poodle brush collection, and her fine tooth comb. For the scissors, I'm using the curved scissor, the medium sized scissors, the thinning shears, and the small scissor. First I give her a bath and a gentle massage. First thing you need are treats. After I blow dry her, I brush her out thoroughly, removing all knots and tangles. And I never forget to reward her for being the goodest girl. Next, I clip her nails. Holding up one of her hind legs gently and careful not to overextend it, I run the clippers free of any guards, gently over the pad of her paws in an upward stroke like so. And then I use the corners of my clippers to gently scoop the hairs as in between her paw pads upwards, careful not to scoop too deep as that can cut the skin. I also use my fingers to prime the hair for trimming, especially when it's tucked too deep in the paws. Here you have it, a neat little teddy bear. Today I'm using a 9mm clipper guard instead of my usual 12 because I'm waiting longer between grooms. I start with the back of her neck and work my way all the way down to the base of her tail. When I get to her thighs, I lightly trim with my clippers, basically grazing it lightly from the top, avoiding the lower legs altogether. For the side of her body, I trim in a top to bottom motion like so. I like for the fur on her jowls to be very short, so I trim from the chin all along her neck and down her chest like so. And I continue doing this all around her neck, starting from the base of her ears. And she always reminds me when it's time for a treat. Start by brushing out the legs thoroughly, and then use the curved scissors to trim the length. I usually lift her leg for more leverage. I use the curved scissors for her legs because it helps me achieve the desired shape for her legs, without it looking too jagged and harsh. Because I like for her legs to be fluffy, I avoid using the clippers on them as that can have the opposite effect. I clean up all the jagged edges with the thinning shears, then I brush her legs out and I use the curved scissors again to remove anything that I've missed and then I end it again with the thinning shears. So I switch between both the curved scissors and brushing her and using the thinning shears a lot. It's a cycle to get it perfect. I also trim the fur surrounding her paw pads. It's easier to do this when I pick up her legs. Now I'm going to begin on the front legs and I pretty much do the exact same thing as I did with the hind legs. For her tail, I trim the length and also taper the sides. Stay tuned to part 2 on how I groom her face. <laughs>